coming so i will be showing you guys the beginner's guide of how to do your purge base and how to do your first purge basically what materials you need and what to think about we cho I'm, I'm choosing to do a tier 3 build which is the strongest type of building that you can do um, I will be using a DLC pack, but I will also show you the two build pieces that or build uh, collections that you can use that is from the main game and make basically the most fantastic build just using that. I have this little thing that I want to show. So for my build today, you are going to need the People of the Dragon DLC pack. It's the Nemedian build set. I will be using Climbing Ivy as a like decor item to pimp it out a little bit um, that you get from the bazaar, it's um, in rotation. Um, and I am also using the uh, Agrossian DLC pack or the Argus DLC pack for Argus wall torches. We might use some other bits and bobs from, uh, bobs from that DLC pack as well. So that is if you want to do exactly what I do. But if you don't have any DLC packs, so if you don't have all the fancy DLC packs, you don't need to worry because you have two tier three building um, collections uh, coming with the main game. And one of them is Black Eyes, which looks amazing. And then you have the Reinforced Stone, right? Yeah, yes. So Reinforced Stone looks really cool, but Black Eyes, look at that. So that is what I would have used if I if I didn't have any DLCs. But today we will be using... Oops, that's the wrong button. Cool, cool. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Cool. But we will be using Nemedian, the mini, uh, Nemedian build set today. Also, if I am sounding weird, it is because I'm sick. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, all right. So we are going to start on our little, little wee build. Um, if you have checked my YouTube channel before, you have seen my level 5 perch build which is a little bit uh, more detailed. There's more to it. There's more spots for archers and stuff like that. But we don't really need it here. We are just starting out. So we, we the new update have dropped. We want to start and, and test out how the purges work. We have started to move up in the, um, checking out the other biomes. Maybe if we are building somewhere else, then uh, lower in the map. And we want to try out our very first purge. So then this would be a good um, first build, basically, quite quite simple. Hi, hello, welcome in. Uh, let's get the flying again. Last scale, just so it's easier to see. And we can go first person as well. <sighs> we need to get rid of the doggy. Poor doggy. So yeah, I started with a platform here. Um, how many is it? Like one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide. Yeah, nine wide, which I should have seen if I wasn't tired. So it's nine wide, and then I have three wide, like a dock going to mainland, and it is three, six, seven deep. So nine wide, seven deep. I made sure to do it all the way down here as well so you can see it's solid um let's switch to our construction hammer as a typical swedish weather here in the highlands as you can see want to add an advice tip you can make steel reinforcement by combining iron reinforce Man and steel fire that's what i use for the steel fire god damn it overall it's five times cheaper on iron needed yeah 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 true thank you Venomega. i really appreciate it thank you for helping me out so yeah for this build um we are gonna start with walls all right so first thing first, I'm getting used to the flying thing. I uh, haven't used that before. Uh, let's do... Let's do... Like this. I don't 
think it's super important. We could do windows here or not. Um, I'm gonna start without, just for, we might switch in. Yeah, we're gonna have window in front, by left, basically like that. So we're just gonna add a wall around all of it. And then I am gonna add in uh, the windows just for looks. And then I am, let's see if we can do, I'm just gonna put down some, some uh, walls here because we are gonna add in a big gate frame and these can be a little fiddly. Um, and let's see, I tried to put it down yesterday just to see if I could do it. Wait. Might want to. Oi! Oi! Hello! Oopsie. Um, so I want to have a wall or foundation or anything like here so that we're minimizing the snap points for it to place anywhere else. Let's see if we can get this. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And then we, just for the sake of it, I would like to have um, a spot for an archer on each side. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use utilize the triangles. So let's start here. Nope. Never mind. Let's start here. Or do we want it here? I think that is better. That is better, actually. So we're gonna have that. Uh, and then I instantly changed my mind with the windows. I want two windows in the front and not the one. We're gonna do that instead. The look of it. And obviously, I keep making holes in my my foundation, which is not a good look. Um, we can take off these now. These were those were just to minimize snapping for the big gate. We're gonna place two windows here obviously you guys do whatever you want this is just for for the looks that i'm going with that and then we are gonna do one little spot for archers and we are gonna do we are gonna do so we have the crenellated wall pieces we are gonna put them here as well and all around not there preferably hello wait is that backwards or is it just me it is backwards <laughs> i don't know what happened what happened and then until i think so the thing is i want to have like back towers just because we are getting we are getting we are this whole build is giving castle you know so i want to keep that I want to keep that. Thank you for the support and lurking. I appreciate you taking a nap. Noise. Very noise. And so I'm going to do two and then three like that. Yes. So we are going to place. Where do we want it? Like that. Yes. So I want to have back back towers but we're also gonna have to have somewhere to sleep so just in case it's things do go south and you die you're gonna want to have somewhere to respawn you know um close to battle but not too close to battle <laughs> not in the middle of the battle why can't i see what i'm doing there we go thank you um no, I'm having a hard time seeing what side. There we go. Oi. Oopsie. There we go. There we go. Uh, and we are gonna have. We are gonna have. Um, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm just double checking so I'm centering. <laughs> um, that is the wrong way. Thank you. And then we are just building up. Building up. We are gonna want to have a door frame for here. 
we are gonna want to have a door frame for here and then building Ooh, windows though windows so let's copy that and the windows nice and more we need height we need height you can obviously do this without flying but you have to climb and pl put platforms um, or little yeah platforms that you can stand on and you can build high 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 no worries um <laughs> my brain trying to see which side is out and which side isn't like which side has the beams because i like the beams look for inside but i don't want to mix it too much Oy! Okay, like there. Hmm. So how tall do I want? So I basically, I, I want to be able to see it from uh, when I'm standing on the on the bridge. I want to see the towers. The wolves do not like me being here. That's for sure. Too bad, wolves. Too bad. I'm doing a thing. Oh, what happened here, sir? Something like that, I think. It's gonna be good. Mm -mm -mm. So, what is Hellhound up to this weekend? There we go. I think that is good. I think that is good. And you know, I am absolutely bonkers for like a courtyard, basically. So that's what we are working with here. So this is a purge base. So it doesn't need to be like a proper building with a proper this and that. The most important is that you have as many um, obstacles in the way of your coffer guy and where the purge camp starts. So because this is a beginner's guide, we are going with two. I actually have, um, how many do I have? Three obstacles which is door doorways to my coffer guy um for my level five purge they um building but because this is this is this is gonna be good for level one to three maybe even four if you add um spots for more archers you can even do some towers here in the water have more uh, more archers and um, this would good, be good for level three uh, level five as well mm -mm -mm. Whoop. That one is a little wonky. Yeah, bear with me with this. Lily can't see anything. So here, oi, okay. Nah, what am I doing? I tried to copy and I just erased. Okay, Um. no worries, no worries. That's not what I wanted. Eek. Oh, I, I never look at the, you know what? The, the arrow and the saying facing forward and outwards and whatnot okay so yeah this is a good start we need doors obviously we are missing doors um that is a that's a <laughs> that's gonna be needed so for the small small one i am just making two doors on the towers because if you want to have like a maid joining you you can have each one tower room or whatever but it's just because i like symmetry i really really like symmetry so we are going with two but in this one, you want to do a wee platform um, it high enough that uh, they can't get to it. Um, but you can climb up and climb down. You can do. We're just going to place for, for it to be as simple as possible. We just need to place basically like that. We don't need a... L okay. Well, I got a trophy from that for some reason. I didn't get that before. That's interesting. Thank you so much, Steam. Um, so we placed a little fiber bedroll just in case if we die, it's easy to climb up and climb down from this. Um, if we would have the the issue with the with the purges getting into the tower, I don't see that being um, much of a thing that we need to worry about because they are gonna go for the coffer guy, and the coffer guy is gonna be right in there. Yeah. Um, so let's see. One second. 
And so... Wait, what did I do with my hammer? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna put one of these. That's kind of nice. I like that. And we need a door for the big door. And we got that. Nice. Um, you see we have two spots here for archers. Hmm. Gonna change that a little bit. Here we go. Because that didn't look too good, did it? Oh, that one. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Nice. Starting to look good, but we need something to shield us from rain when we are sleeping. Um, what's what here? What is it? That one. Thank you. Perfect. Welcome back, Sam. Did you bring snacks for the group? And we got that. Got this. That, look at that. Naman, hello. All right. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. All right. See, see. You have the big door. You could even put, like, you can put a lot of obstacles, uh, throws on the, on the, on the path here. Um, but you the, the real obstacle is the door so the door and then you have another door here you don't have to really worry about them trying to go for these doors because there is no other path into this room than this door and this is where the coffer guy is gonna sit so they are not gonna go for those doors you don't have to be wary about your bedroom hello render how you doing welcome in so that is a good start for that. Heck yeah. You can add a bunch of other um, things. I think I'm going to see how it looks if we add this here. That's kind of cute. Doesn't look so empty here. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave one. One. It's getting dark, so it's hard for you guys to see. And this is going to be distracting. Oh, she put it behind her head. That's good. Thank you for that. There we go. All right. So what we need here is obviously light. We need decorations and light to make this pop now. I want to see how it looks from afar. If we need, if we want to have the towers taller or we fine. I think we're fine. I like it. Um, so I am gonna go with two Sumerian Berserker on the bridge and two in here and an archer on each platform. We are gonna have the coffee guy and that's our that's our setup basically. That's the that's the that's the plan. Uh, so now when the build is done, we need to put down the coffer guy. So let's do that. Let's walk. Let's do that. So I am happy with the build. You guys are happy with the build. Oh, you know what I forgot before we start? I completely forgot about the ivy. But let's add some ivy. What can we do? There we go. Might want to put that. Oh, and I am a big fan of symmetry, so we are gonna do that. Oh, let's move this one. Move that one a little bit more. Wait, doesn't want to do that. Add some ivy down here. I'm thrilled about the ivy. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I have more. There we go. 
Do we want some ivy down here? I don't know about that. Does it look weird because it's on an island and there's no actual ground? Do the enemies swim? And if they do, will they attack the base in the water? No. And no. The, um, no enemies in Conan Exile swim. So that's why it's very important that if you want this perch belt of yours to uh, um, to work, you're gonna have to have a, a dock or a bridge over to your belt. Otherwise, if there is no clear path from the purge camp that spawns to your coffer guy, it's not gonna activate, it's not gonna work. Um, so that's, that's really important. All right, I think I'm happy with that. We put up some ivy. Um, I might actually, because I'm, a, I'm a, such a huge fan of these, I might put one down. Like, I'm, I'm bonkers in these freaking hoop, hoop planes. I love them. Oh, they're a little wonky. <laughs> Sorry. I got a little bit too excited. I like how green they are. Shove them in there. Perfect. Yeah, I like that. That is neat. That is neat. We can place a couple in here, too. Mm-hmm. I don't think we need to bot like be wary about them destroying these. They're not gonna go for those at all. Obviously, if you have a stronger purge, then there would be more folks about. Let's see if it sticks out too much. Oh, it's fine. Um, they might get uh, destroyed, but if not, don't have to be worried about that. They're not gonna go into this corner, for example. Um, you don't have to be too worried about they go them going for foundations, like around here, like the old purge. Um, it's only humans. It's only humans. Um, and they are gonna go for your coffer guy. So they are going to going to go for this room in here. Like they're going, they if they if they go through this door, they are gonna go straight for this door. So you want to have a couple of guys here strong and, and, and being able to take care of, especially demolishers. The demolishers is your big problem. That's going to be your big problem. So you want to handle those instantly. I can't really see. It's getting dark. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. knees knees all right i like it so okay let's place down a coffer guy we are happy with the we are happy about the decorations we want to have a coffer guy and that's how the coffer guy looks like he has a coffer you can place gold and silver and treasure into the uh, the coffer you can also press on the coffer guy to see the value of your your uh, treasure. Um, any treasure that is placed around uh, needs to be um, accounted for with the coffer guy. So if you're carrying a bountiful treasure, for example, you're gonna need to press on the coffer guy with your mouse and the little dot, you know, for him to, to count in the treasure. Also, if you are um, having a treasure in your inventory that needs to be placed down, you're gonna see instantly that it's gonna activate that shimmery glow, and you need to um, you need to place your treasure within that to be counted into the coffer. You can also always check on the coffer guy; it will count all the treasures in here, and it will tell you the total uh, value. It will also tell you instantly what threat level that will activate. Here we go. So when you got your bountiful treasure, you want to mark your, like you want to poke at your coffer guy. So you see the little white dot and then you press on him. You see the glowing effect. This is how you make sure your treasure is counted into the coffer. So it, it won't show anything in here. This is where you place regular treasures. So I'm going to show that in a second. But when you, when you press on him again, 
on E. It will count in your treasure. So it, this is 5,000 and it will give you a, a threat level three. But we are not doing three today. So instead, I am going to use the exchange treasure button. So what that does is that you basically give him the treasure and you get coin back. And we have one bountiful treasure and for one bountiful treasure we get the same amount back in coin so i want five thousand gold coins yes okay. perfect and now all of my gold is in here we're gonna pick that up and then you're gonna see that there is nothing in here counted for I would like to show you exactly the amounts here. So here we got the amounts for the different purges. So if you want to do a level one purge, all you need to put into the coffer is one coin. So one coin will give you level one purge. If you want to have level two purge, you're going to have to um, put in a thousand coins. Level three is 5,000 coins. Level four is 10,000 coins. Uh, five is 20,000, six, 30, and then 40, 50. And then when you want level nine, it's 70,000. And level 10, which is the, the highest one, is 100,000 coin or 100,000 value, basically. I think we're ready. So we got the bur um, the perch face. We got a, a, a wee bed uh, up here. So I just put down... Our, our bedroll uh just in case we need it we got um we got our treasure our coffer guy we got um our berserkers um we got our archers and we got our two people on the bridge so anything that i forgot about now guys you have to help me out tell me if i'm i missed anything so the more thrall, the harder it gets too. Exactly. So if you have, for example, a level 10 purge, but you have like, <laughs> you have like 50 people, like if thralls, 50 thralls, that is leveled up and everything, that that is gonna be a, a crazy purge. It's gonna be an absolutely menace. Good luck. Thank you so much, Bala. All right. Yeah, I think we're ready. I think we're ready so we decided on a level purge so a threat level we placed our thralls we placed our treasure down we are we are we are fit we are ready we have eaten food this day we had drank our wine water whatever you like <laughs> so what you want to do now is for for one you want it to say available on status obviously and then you want to proclaim your wealth so you want to show the world all your wealth and then the world will not like it so they are gonna <laughs> try to steal it so you press that and it's gonna say beware at uh, exile by proclaiming you, your wealth you will draw the attention and greed of stygian empires to your door the armies will assault your stronghold and seek your treasure the greater the price the greater the threat you cannot build during a purge. Prepare your defenses. So not building, not destroying, and not, um, uh, what is it called? Um, repair. There we go. Yeah. So here you want to see, like, am I ready? Have I peed? Have I had a drink? Do I need a snack? And if, if all of those are, or most of them are, no. <laughs> yes, no. Maybe uh, you want to press confirm. And that's it. You want to make sure your doors are closed as well. Just saying. Oh, hey, Marini, so the queen of darkness. Excuse you. The queen of cold today. So let's check. Where is it going to happen? Where is it going to happen? It's going to happen. So it can take a minute. Whoa! There we go. There we go. I will just show you how it looks. 
Do you see how big it is? So that is the spot in it. But you also see that it just uh, put up camp right where there's a stone. So be mindful. But yeah, so now they're running at at my two guys. We are we are gonna join. Obviously. There we go. So let's go. Oh, 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 oh. These guys you have to be careful about because they are demolisher. <laughs> Two hits on a door from a demolisher will destroy your door. So you're gonna want to kill those off right away. Right away. Alright. Oh, see? That guy? That is a demolisher. Okay, people! Come here and kill the kill the kill the kill the people. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna stand here on the bridge. I don't know where she is, but she looks like trouble. I'm telling you, she looks like trouble. Demolisher. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, let's help out here. Go. There we go. None of these throws will drop any loot, just so you know. So you don't have to go and check for loot. Oh my god! They have a base there too. They have a different base next to their camp base. Let's kill you. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Hello! I will drink your blood! Oh, I have no stamina. Oi! Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> I just rolled right into water. I'm gonna... Uh, no, that's not it. There we go. I will feast upon you. Oh, Where the heck? There we go. Right, nice. Here comes the next wave. In Sweden, look outside. It's darkness. Yeah, it's getting dark now. Here. It's true. Like in Sweden, not only in game. I think this is what it looks like like this is how dark it is here <laughs> what there you go see the destruction you see the throws are not very strong on a on a level one on a level one it's very manageable i mean obviously oh, a, 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 um i will feast upon you oi 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 uh, skull, uh, one skull, um, warrior will still be able to knock you off your, off your seat, but level one is still manageable, really manageable. It just you and a couple of thralls, no worries. Oh, up, 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 up. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, I don't know if he got a hit on the door. I, th I don't think so. I don't think he, uh, he did. Maybe. So all it takes is basically one and a half hit on the door. I will show you afterwards um, that like the buildings um, damage and all of that. Hello, guys. Oh my goodness, Mo, let's go. Oh, look at that guy. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Look at him go. Okay, we're gonna let him destroy the door. Let's see. Archers! <gasps> this commander is challenging him. So, I think he got in one hit. He's getting staggered by the... Oh, he's going for the foundation. As you can see. But oh, my guy was not having it, though. Alright, so I'm gonna leave these here. Oh, here comes a couple of throws. I'm gonna go up. I have a meeting. Guys, I have a meeting with the commander. The Bovel in a Helskotta me. Thank you. Um, so I'm I'm gonna leave them to defend the base. But I got challenged by the Hand of War now. So the Hand of War is gonna stand right here in the entrance of the Purgeville. He is no joke though. So be wary. Just because everyone else were kind of slow. He might not be. Oh, level one, he's still kind of mushy. He's still kind of mushy on level one. Good! So you killed the Hand of War victory. Do we have a victory thingy? Sorry. 
a st steam deck. Stream deck is a little slow. GG! <laughs> there we go. Uh, Victory, you want to pick up these keys. So he, the hand of war is going to be, um, be uh, having these keys. You want to keep pick them up. Uh, and you want to go in and loot the purge camp. Oh, we got we got one guy left here. Oh, he's strong. He's stronger than any of the others. Not bad. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna die now, mate. No, 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 no. It's not what we're doing. Get back here. No. <laughs> this is, he is. He is. He is something else. Thank God. Excuse you. Oh, thank you. So you got the keys from the Hand of War. You're gonna want to open up all the cages that are around here. And also, there will be a table in the middle. And you're gonna want to pop into those boxes around it. Take what you need. Take everything if you want to. We're just gonna take everything. Um... Oh my goodness, look at all those. We got a ladder. We got a bunch of cool armor, some some furniture, some good craftables, and some food. Love it. Gonna take it all. Um as soon as you open up the cages, if there is any throw in there, like regular throw in there, they will be tamed right away and follow you. Um This is the new NPC. It's Ice Ice Iscar, Iscar, the cell sword. Um, if you have coin on you, if you don't, run home and get the coin and he will sell you and trade you a bunch of things. A bunch of things that will be very helpful for you for your future purges, basically. So if you, you can talk to him and, and, and exhaust the dialogue, but we are going to go straight into the trade. So you see, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. Like he's, he's sure he's happy about you saving him, but he wants to earn something here. Also, thank you so much, Mo, for the hacking biddies there. Thank you for 500 biddies. Mo, super cool. More than generous. Thank you so much. Lol, GG. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. So, yeah, so um, make sure to fill your pockets right away after you open the cages. Uh, hurry over to your base, fill your pockets, um, and and buy everything that you, you want from here. Um, I, I wouldn't say that by nothing of these here, but the mercenary banner is really helpful. Really, really helpful. The only one I've tried out uh, is the fighters. I bought the protectors, but I haven't, um, uh, haven't used it. Um, I'm gonna, uh, on, a, on a later date, um, probably next week, we are gonna buy all of them and check out for a purge on my other purge base. But then you also have crates of explosive jars, crates of sage boulders, crates of ironstone sage boulders. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Um, crates of demon fire bar uh, barrages, crates of vapor traps, crates of exploding traps. Super cool. So yeah, go ham on, on those. Um, let's see, could we buy a banner? I wonder. So if we, if we buy, we can't. We do not have that on. Um, and I don't think I left anything. Um, I will show you who, how it looks like. I have a couple banners at home. Um, but yeah. So if you have to yeet back back to your purge base, make sure to hit a crate somewhere where, uh, with gold so you can buy from him. Um, but even if you do uh, go away from here, he will stay for a little while. Even if the, per like if, if the camp despawns, he will be standing here on his own for for um, a few minutes, like 15 minutes, maybe. So um, no super rush on him. The rest might despawn, so you might not see any of the buildings here, but he was still standing there. The deer was like, hmm, interesting. I don't mind me, um, mind me keep uh, talking. Yeah, like it was the deer just wanted to check out like what was going on. Understandable. He's living here in the neighborhood. So yeah, so that is a level one purge, guys, and we did great. We did great, so great that we um, 
had two cannibal brutes here and it was me and the archers basically didn't need to do anything they did stagger them um the guy trying to bash the door but uh, and just enough for him to not get in a hit maybe we are gonna check that actually we are gonna check that so we have a steel repair hammer usually when you get all the loot in the purge camp oh you see it already despawned but i think he's still standing there let's see if he, he does yeah he's still standing there you can see him chilling um when you empty those boxes there's usually a repair hammer in there let's see if we get if we got a repair hammer sometimes i do sometimes i don't most of the time i do but make sure to have one in in your inventory when you start just in case so when you equip the repair hammer it will instantly tell you if something is damaged so just walk around and it will pop up like so it will also tell you what material you're gonna need and how much of it to fix it so let's see if the door got a smack the door didn't get a smack but he did smack the foundation piece that is interesting and that is all the damage that was here that was all the damage it was this one piece here and that one foundation piece here he just wanted some fame time that's fine i respect that <laughs> it's like it so um 10 out of 10 i would say that went really really well and we um i don't even think you would need two thralls with you you would do fine with having one with you and leaving one inside the base and then the more the stronger uh, purges you activate the more people you want to add on like having a couple ones on the bridge having a couple of ones in here um the more doors you you add like the uh, the guys here and you can put uh, one on each door here and they won't interfere with other thralls that you put in here and uh, you can put thralls uh, right at the door there right at the door on this side and on this side as well and they will run at the guys coming in and then as soon as they are dead they will go back to the door position. 